सो माय वॉइस इज ऑडिबल फॉर ऑल यस आई आई कैन हियर यू इट इज लाउड ओनली सो अदर्स विश्वजीत रंजीत शंकर हेलो या सर आई जस्ट यस सर यस सर ओके थैंक यू सर okay so before moving to devops actually so first of all we will get to know what is hdlc so any of you know what is hdlc what is the use of hdlc idea yeah, yeah. uh, it's a software development life cycle and uh, we need to follow some steps while developing any application or any app requirement for the client so it should like be initial point like it will be like the requirement gathering then it will be the planning for that and uh, then it will be like uh, yeah yeah what are the plans yeah see actually uh, devops also uh, so it is a process correct so it is following this hdlc process only but in the uh, the presentation way is different so everybody now if you will go to google and they will tell you if, if you are saying devops it is dev plus operation okay so we'll see what is dev development what is operation and why we are saying it is a dev plus operation and why it is now in market actually very much popular and lot of openings are there and also uh, last five year onwards actually lot of requirement is uh, going on okay and up to 10 year also this uh, particular devops and cloud is not down actually because everybody is moving to cloud now okay so that things we will discuss today before discussing so hdlc first we will see uh, so what is hdlc what is the flow of hdlc so so we'll take a small example okay let's say you everybody know flipkart application okay and everybody know icic bank application everybody know uh, facebook application all this actually web based application so web based means in suppose you are going to browser you can open it correct and everybody will see actually in all world people can see actually your website so okay so so who actually suppose let's say i am taking the class now so any doubt any time actually you can ask me okay if you are not understanding also you can ask me ten times no issue because this is the fundamental class it will clear today so tomorrow if you are if you are going to join so it will helpful for you okay so we'll take a example of icic bank so let's say icic bank customer will give the requirement to any software company to build their actually product to build their actually internet banking so everybody know actually uh, we are using actually internet banking for icic bank sbi or any actually uh, hdfc correct so let's let's say this kind of actually product they gave to software company to develop so that software company may be infosys may be tech mahindra may be your actually other companies mnc so how actually this hdlc process will flow so let's say that project that requirement is going to give by this project manager okay so once he will take the requirement so he will actually what is the requirement of icic bank anybody any one requirement for icic bank suppose you are going to develop a portal of icic bank so what is the requirement sir say that for key bob so initially might be as we uh, we give uh, we need to if we are going for the internet banking we need the login id password page okay. the field so that is one requirement correct let's say you have a P ppf uh, uh, form let's say you have a loan form let's say in inside loan actually you have a car and uh, other categories of loan correct this all are requirement so what they will do that requirement they will divide it actually two types so high level low level okay inside actually your particular form let's say ppf form you have actually some sub categories so that we can find actually it's a low level requirement so first actually they will gather the requirement so based on that requirement there is a designing team so what they will do they will do the designing so what is the designing 
let's say they in there is a UML diagram. So what they'll do, they'll do the designing of that particular requirement, how your UI is going to look like and how actually your functionality and database is going to connect. Okay, I'll tell you what is functionality database is. So then actually development phase. So what development phase it will do? One second. What development phase it will do? So whatever we are designing in blueprint, let's say your paper pen you design or in a uh, picture you design, same thing they'll make a physical representation. So that is called development. Okay. Then that particular development things when you are going for testing. So whether that physical representation is accurate to your design or not, so that testing people will test it. So that means what I'm trying to say, all the requirement has a team, okay? Designing people, uh, they have a team. Development people, they have a team. Each actual one is a phase. And this whole five phases is called actually your HDLC process. So requirement will come. And when we are going to deliver that requirement physically to our customer, that is called your HDLC process. Okay. So everybody clear? What is HDLC process? Yes, yes. Okay. So now <laughs> we'll go a little deeply. So HDLC process when it is started, actually when your software industry started, that time only HDLC process started to develop our product, to develop our services. Correct. So in that case, so so in that case, what happened? Uh, before 20 years back, in, uh, there is a waterfall model. Okay, that is actually this HDLC process uh, has a model. Okay, so that is called waterfall model. So that actually through we are developing our product. Okay, this ICC bank or Facebook or something. Right? So when we are going to develop through waterfall model, we got some limitation. We got some disadvantages. Okay. So then actually people are moving to agile process. So there also people find actually some limitation. Then everybody is moving to DevOps. These three phases we'll talk about today. Okay, waterfall model, agile, and DevOps process. Okay. So agile uh, waterfall model, what happened? Let's say so we have a project manager and we have a this all teams. Okay. So what project manager will say to this team? So first they will start their actually timings. Let's say this product will take how many days, how many years, or how many months. That first they will finalize. And once they will finalize, they will send to that estimation time to ICC bank. But your hotel will deliver this 12 month or 13 month or two year. Okay. Then what ICC bank will do, he will tell their customer, so your product is going to deliver, you know, sorry, you have to use our product. So uh, this two year or one year, whatever timeline, they'll give it. Okay. So let me explain that one. Let's say requirement. Okay. So let's say requirement team, they finalize, it will take actually three months to write the requirement. Okay. Let's say then DJ. <laughs> Guys, actually mute yourself so that actually recording will be clear. So that if tomorrow somebody will see the recording, you can understand the flow. So let's say design also, let's say it will take three months. Okay, then your development. So actually development and testing team both are core part of your actual project. Any project will go, you are seeing a lot of project, correct? Big basket, a flip card and all. Any product will go, anything actually you are developing. Everywhere actually developers should come on actually. Without developing, so we don't have actually dev DevOps team, we don't have testing team also, correct? So that means actually development team is the base, actually uh, back, backbone of your software industry. If they are going to develop, then only actually testing team came to, uh, come to picture and actually DevOps team come to picture. Otherwise, there's no way, correct? So what is development? I'm say, let's say if you're going to talk actually development. So how many types of development people are there in software industry? 
okay let's say i'll tell you example so flipkart application okay so how we are going to use flipkart application what you are able to see you are able to see ui correct ui and ux correct presentation layer you are able to see so suppose i'll tell you to buy a laptop using flipkart what we are going to do you are going to flipkart and you are typing correct so i required so many i required actually hp brand and 8 gb ram and hard disk actually 250 gb or ssd 250 gb or uh, hard disk 1 tb so all the configuration and i processor i5 processor or i7 processor all this configuration you are searching okay then you are searching when you are searching now what it is doing internally but you are not actually getting that actually internal things correct you are searching as a human as a actually uh, customer you are searching there and as a user you are searching there so what will happen internally so you are searching in ui so there is a functionality layer in between your database and ui so what it will do so it will take that particular search things whatever you are writing then it will go to your database okay database means what actually suppose you are saving something and tomorrow you want to see that one from database or from a file so that also equal to a database let's say mx access you know let's say you are saving some data to uh, in excel okay so what will happen tomorrow you are coming and you are printing that excel so it is actually showing your all the data correct same way in software industry we have a so many databases so let's say mysql uh, oracle uh, sql server dynamo db okay all this all these things are database where we actually we are going to store the data okay so what flipkart is doing he is storing the data in a db okay so then what will happen when we are searching in ui it is coming functionality what it is doing it is taking that response taking that search uh, things then actually it is coming to db and searching whether that particular brand laptop and all the things are present or not if it is present or if also not present what it is doing again it is sending again through functionality it is going to your ui and it is displaying if stock is not there it will display what stock is not present if stock is there it will display so and so amount you can buy this time it will deliver correct so but as a user you are not seeing internally what is happening but as a actually software company as a uh, we are developer so what we we are doing we are actually doing all these three step internal okay so that tomorrow let's say uh, icic bank you have a log, login credential correct so you are uh, uh, what we can say we, you are signing up actually your uh, portal correct so your mail id your phone number everything it is storing where in db so tomorrow you are going to log in if you are going to log in in different name or some syntax mistake so it will not allow to you because that is not present in your database okay so that means in software industry we have a three type or three categories of actually developer present ui ux functionality and db if you say the example of ui ux you can see you can tell actually this html css bootstrap okay so all this actually comes under your ui ux section okay so second one functionality so functionality means what actually so your c c++ java python .net okay all this th php all these things actually comes under functionality db means i told you oracle db all this database will come to your picture okay got it what is development how many types of developments are there anybody any doubt here anybody any doubt no sir okay okay so then what will happen so these people actually will take more time because this is actually physical uh, representation okay okay another example i am giving okay suppose you are going to construct a house correct or a apartment okay so what you are going to do you are giving actually to the builder that requirement correct so what builder is doing 
using that requirement he is taking some architect and he is giving that requirement based on that they are putting the layout correct in paper and pen that is called blueprint correct so when physically that blueprint print is going to develop that means your apartment you are going to see physically that is called your development for for doing that it will take lot lot more time doing that it will take more time correct so let's say it will take actually for developing let's say it will take actually one year so i'm give, giving some example okay maybe it will take more <laughs> or you can say 12 months okay so then actually comes to your testing once development will complete so testing to come to picture correct so what they'll do they will test the product whether actually something alignment problem functionality problem when in icic bank you are clicking uh, like uh, uh, some submit button or loan form it is not working functionality is not attached correct so that all things you can validate right? so for that let's say it will take six months or five months let's say it will take five months okay so all total how much time it will take let's say 6 uh, and it's say 12 18 and actually this is 5 so 23 months let's say it will take sir okay. <coughs> one second yeah yeah tell me hello yeah yeah tell me sir yeah, uh, yeah. project manager uh, your voice is actually your your voice is actually not correctly coming. Can you? I'm audible. Yeah, now audible, but it is so. It is like you are not <laughs> near to actually. Your yeah. Now you can say. No, still actually a problem. Can you write it down? Still some problem is coming. He, he, can, he can drop a note in the chat box. I think that yeah. will well. Yeah, yeah. You can drop your note actually in chat box so that we keep the answer. Or you can reconnect actually. Okay. So just drop and reconnect. So all total, let's see, it will take actually uh, 23 months. Okay. Yeah. Let him come back. Okay. So now what will happen? This estimate time will tell to our project manager. Then what he will do actually, he will communicate some senior person actually in Tekem who is taking the requirement and all. So then they can actually communicate to ICIC bank. So they can communicate to their customer. So what will happen? 23 month we are going to release our product. So everybody can use it. So then actually waterfall model will, uh, it, it will start. Okay. So first phase requirement it is completed. Second phase design it is completed. Third phase, uh, uh, phase development. Okay. So development actually completed. Let's say fully completed. So then they are going to start actually their testing. Okay. So when they are start, uh, started testing and up to four months completed let's see okay and when they are actually started the five month testing that time they got some issue in design document or requirement okay so which is actually issue in design document so what they are going to do once testing completed what they, they are going to do they are actually again communicate to design people or design team so what they will do they will correct that one if they are going to correct let's say again actually for correcting design document it's take actually let's say another one month okay so then actually same thing we are going to do actually in development phase also correct so without development actually we will not able to see that particular feature which one missing so when we are going to do the development let's say it will take another three months extra okay <laughs> So when they are doing that one, so for testing, we are going to do actually whole testing because for 
particular feature when you are developing may be the side effect may be that it will impact to other feature also that's why every, every time best practice is ashish so can you mute All, yeah ashish uh, can you mute everyone so that it will yeah, be yeah, yeah. yeah yeah that's i'm doing so anindita can you mute actually everybody actually to have permission so because actually it's disturbing the class <coughs> okay so where we are we are okay. so yes, okay so when they are developing it is actually again it is taking three months and when they are again going for actually testing so what will happen sir So we are going to test actually everything because for one particular problem, some other problem also may arise actually when you are fixing that problem, correct? So that's why every time best practice to do the whole testing, okay? So that means how much time now it is extra it is taking? So 4 plus 5, 9. So 23 plus 9, correct? So same thing when you are going to communicate to ICIC bank, what they are doing actually was already you told 23 months and it is actually about to complete again you are saying it will take another one year or nine months so then what he will do next time they will not maybe they are not going to give to this product or this project requirement to tech mohinder or to some software company who is taking the responsibility correct so what he will say it is your actually process flow it is your uh, design flaw. So, because of that, actually, I will not support. In market, many actually companies are there. So, I will go to them and I will give my assignment. Okay. So, what will happen? Software company will lose actually their project. So, nowadays or previously, same thing happening. Correct. So, all the service companies, sometimes which pro project is working actually in process, you can see after one year, it will be there in Tech Mohindra bucket or uh, TCS TC bucket, correct? So why it is happening? Because of this problem happened in previously. Okay. So wh what is the problem happened here for waterfall model? So it is taking longer time. So if you are going to ex expect actually 23 months, it is taking actually maybe actually uh, three years. Okay. Due to this all issues. Okay. So that means what is the main issue we are finding here? De after development completed, we are going for testing. So that when we are getting some issue in testing, we are not able to come back actually because already development is completed, correct? So that is that means issue is here. These two teams are actually they are not in sync in waterfall model. That means what I am trying to say here, this both are not working parallel. If they are going to work parallelly, they can fix the bug in on the spot. But development team they are working fully and they are completing, then it is going for testing. So that is the mistake actually in they are doing in waterfall model. And waterfall model is designed like that. Okay, That's why nowadays nobody is using waterfall model. Okay, Everybody got it? What is waterfall model? What is the limitation of waterfall model? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then actually in software industry, Agile process came to picture. So nowadays also we are working in Agile process. I am also working in Agile and DevOps process. But some limitation is there in Agile process. First we'll see actually how Agile process is working here. So what they did actually when they implemented this process, they saw actually what is the disadvantages of your waterfall model. Waterfall model disadvantages Developer and testing team both are not working parallel. That is the disadvantages. So what water uh, in agile process they did has they corrected that. So what they corrected development team and testing team both should work parallel in agile process. How they are working parallelly? Let's say I'll tell actually one small example. In waterfall uh, in uh, agile process they will make actually part part actually let's say this twenty three months na, or this one one year correct right? development. So in this one year, they'll do the actually part part actually for module. One module they'll take actually one sprint. Sprint minimum they'll take actually three weeks. Okay. So what they'll do? They'll do 
every three, three weeks they will release something. So what will happen in that three weeks once they will release, so whatever issue will come, testing team will test it, correct? They can fix it immediately. Okay, for next sprint, so that issue will not come, correct? So what and what in agile process they are doing, let's say they are going to develop a small things also. Testing team will verify and development team also need to verify. Okay. So that what is happening on the spot, they are solving the issue. Okay. And every day in agile process, we have a scrum, we have a scrum call or we have a stand-up call. So in stand-up call, what they are doing, project manager will be there, scrum master will be there. Dev DevOps team will be there, testing team will be there, developer team will be there. So everybody they will they will dis they will discuss actually yesterday they what they did actually and today what they are going to do. If any issue is there, first they will fix, then they will go for new implementation. Or what they can they can do, they will they will they will uh, actually assign some bug fixing team. They will put actually some bug fixing developer and parallelly they will uh, do some new new implementation developer correct so both team actually will work actually simultaneously okay so because of this what happened in this 12 month testing and development everything completed okay so when they are coming to actual testing that time what they are doing they are only doing the regression testing whether actually working or not all the functionality and all they'll check it but all the big issue they can fix it on the spot when you are doing the Parallel implementation, parallel implementation using agile process. Okay. Got it? What is agile process? <laughs> Any doubt in agile and waterfall model? Okay. So here what is the limitation? Anybody finding what is the limitation here in agile process? Because of that, everybody is moving now to DevOps and Cloud. No. See, waterfall model, in waterfall model, what is happening? So, when we are going for testing, okay, let me put it here. So, let's say developer, correct? When they are doing development, they also need some machine to test First, they will test actually their code, correct? So they need actually dev environment. Okay? So then actually your testing or QA. So QA team will test it, correct? So they need actually for this environment also. Okay. Like that, we have a pre-prod and production. So pre-prod actually whatever we are going to set the environment, it is similar to your prod. Okay. So why why we are doing I'll tell you. Okay, then in production environment. Right? Okay. So these four environment means what you can see. Let's say for development people, they are going to test their product. So they need, let's say, 10 machine. So 10 machine means actually 10. You can say actually 10 machine okay, or 10 PC. Okay. okay. For this also, let's say in QA also they require 10. Let's say production also 10. Pre product also 10. Right? So all this setup. Okay, we need to do. Okay, so in waterfall model, so we are doing this actually manually because that time there is no virtualization. I'll tell you what is virtualization. Okay? That time there is no virtualization, no cloud, no DevOps, correct? So that's why what they are doing, they are depending on the physical machine. So that means actually for creating that, uh, for buying this physical machine, okay, 40 machine, correct? We need to buy it for testing purpose. Okay, for environment setup purpose. Let's say you are you are actually working in a Java project. So you need actually 
Java software to install in this machine. Okay. And then actually you have to put your application or you have to deploy your application. So then only your flip card application you are able to see in the browser. Okay. So for setting up all this, it is a manual process in waterfall mode. Okay. Because that time nothing is there. Don't you back, I am saying. So that's because of that, actually, it is taking also more time to creating the infrastructure, to creating the operation part, it is taking more time in waterfall model. So when you are coming to agile process, so they corrected the development process, development and testing process, but they are not focusing on operation part. So still operation part actually working like a waterfall model. So we Agile, we came to agile process, but still actually operation things, infrastructure things, they are actually working like a waterfall model. That means manual process in agile process. That time also cloud is not there when it is started. Okay. So when DevOps came to picture, your deployment and operation, these things actually very uh, small time we are actually creating. Let's say I am going to create to, today uh, 100 machines. So I'll write some script. Okay, I'll use the cloud. So then I can immediately within one two hour I can create. Okay. So that is the part actually missing in your agile process, which is corrected actually in your DevOps process. That's why this definition I told you. Dev plus operation. You can say actually in your interview when they ask you, DevOps equal to Dev development plus testing, okay, plus operation, okay. So why I am saying this because I proved here, like your dev plus operation equal to agile because in agile phase development and testing team both are working parallel. So operation part still actually manual process, but when DevOps came, that also actually automated. So you can see actually DevOps equal to your agile and operation. Okay, or day plus test plus operation. Okay, so got it. So, what is DevOps? So, why actually uh, everybody is moving to DevOps? Clear? Uh, Any doubt? Ask is one question like uh, this methodology, like agile methodology, is not suitable for the long term project. Like, it's uh, like, uh, yeah, if it is, we are going for a long term project, so it should not be suitable because the requirements keep on changing, right? Vision, vision. Uh, no, if we are going for a long term project, suppose a long term project, so other methodology will be helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it is, see, what we are doing, we are dividing that log a long time to small, small actually sprint. Okay, so that yeah. is also good. But what I am saying in agile process, operation part we are not focusing. Now also agile right. process is good. But operation part means, let's say I'll give you an example. So old days we are using the physical machine. Let's say this laptop yes. is your physical machine, correct? That time actually right. we don't have a virtualization. We don't have actually cloud. So when yes. actually agile process came, that time virtualization came, but still actually we are not actually that much uh, uh, focusing automation way in your operation part. So which is actually okay. nowadays within a fraction of time actually they will create a OS okay. and yes. also they will take the rent they like cloud what is cloud so cloud actually is providing for you infrastructure let's say example yes. in real real world example Ola Uber everybody know Ola Uber correct so how they are working actually so the, see if I am going to buy uh, if I am going to buy a car so I have to do the maintenance part also I have to uh, think about the parking slot also. Okay, everything I have to see. But when actually Ola Uber came to market, so what we are thinking, why to buy all these things, actually we can depend on Ola Uber. So how much we have to go, that much we have to pay. So in cloud case also same. If you are today, you are using actually two machines, okay, two OS. So for two hours, only for two hours you have to pay not whole whole uh, things correct so in old age what is happening suppose you are taking actually 100 machine you, you need to buy that 100 machine correct and when you are buying that 100 machine if suppose sometime ram will corrupt okay hard disk will corrupt ram will crash os will crash again we have to go to service center okay for that also our 
development activity will stop our release activity will stop correct so what will happen at that time so again it will take actually more time customer will not satisfy correct so because of all these actually now the cloud and devops combination is best to faster release your product okay Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so this is actually a basic introduction of your DevOps. Okay? Like uh, what is DevOps and all. And also in our, this course is five, uh, five months. Here in DevOps actually, I'll, I'll, this curriculum also I'll share, but in DevOps I'm saying actually what are the things are there. So we have actually Git, GitHub, okay. then we have a Maven, okay. then we have a um, Nexus, okay. then we have a Tomcat. I'll, I'll explain you tomorrow this all things, responsibility. Tomcat, then actually your um, uh, Tomcat and HTTPD, okay. and your uh, Jenkins, then Docker, Kubernetes, Ansible, Terraform. Okay, so all this we are going to cover. And uh, market in market now, these two tool and these two. If you know, you will get very good package. Okay, and apart from that, we are going to cover actually Unix cell scripting. And in AWS cloud, actually, we need to cover actually 20 plus services. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Sir, tell yeah, me. yeah, yeah tell Sir, me. we are not, we are not uh, stunning any type of monitoring tool? See, in AWS, actually, you see, in uh, Kubernetes, we are going to cover actually Grafana and Prometheus. Okay, Helm chat. So, this only it will take one month, Kubernetes. Okay. Okay. Grafana, Prometheus, and Helm chat actually. And here AWS actually cloud was also how actually it is working. Okay. See, oh, I'll tell you, I'm not comparing to other institute, but actually, if you are going for actually this Docker and Kubernetes, na, they'll make a separate actually uh, course for Docker, Kubernetes, and Terraform. So here only I'm giving all these things. Okay. That's why it is taking actually five to Minimum five months it will take. Sir, how many days we will conduct this class in a week? See, see, in a week, four days class, one uh, exam. So exam means exam is compulsory. Why I am saying, otherwise I will not get to know actually you are where you are lacking. Okay, what is the your doubt? Correct. So what we are going to do every day? Suppose today we are going to start the class. Tomorrow, we, particular this class, uh, we have to revise. 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Then actually every week, Saturday or Sunday, we are take we are going to take a exam. Okay. So exam means actually what? So I'll you have to share your screen. We'll do some, we'll give some assignment based on this. You have to explain or you have to do. Okay. So four class, one exam compulsory. Okay. And sometime actually, suppose you are uh, let's say one month you completed. So we have a we interview preparation budget, which is going on every Saturday, Sunday, seven to nine, okay, or six to uh, nine. So like that, actually, we are doing based on our timing, evening, okay. So my old student, new student, they are going to join there. Already they are joining, okay. We are doing that session, okay, every weekend. So that is actually only for interview preparation. What we are going to do, Thursday, we will select four to five people. And we will we'll give the topics, okay? And Saturday, Sunday, we are going to ask the interview question. If any anything they, they are going to miss, same time we are going to explain, okay? So this pattern, if you follow 100%, you will get the job, okay? Apart from that, we are going to cover your resume preparation, LinkedIn profile and Nokri profile, okay? And actually, suppose you are going for interview, whatever doubt is there that interview, you can call me. Okay, so I'll send that interview answer tomorrow. 
Okay, let's say today you, you send me, tomorrow you'll get the answer. Any other question? Is any kind of like AWS certification you are going to help or something like that? Uh, uh, AWC, whatever we are covering, that three part we are covering actually. We are covering actually mm -hmm. admin part. We are covering actually okay. DevOps part in AWS. Okay. And mm -hmm. also we are covering actually security part. Okay. So security. if you are going for solution architect, so no issue, this okay. contents is good enough. Okay. And okay. for helping, okay. See, if you need some help, that will discuss actually. Uh, offline. Uh, 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 offline. Yeah. So we have a team actually. So they will help. Okay. Actually. No issue. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you. See here. So DevOps actually, we can say actually, see, if you are going for Azure, you know Azure, correct? What is Azure? So it is a Microsoft Cloud, correct? If you go to GCP, yeah. Oh, yeah. it is actually your Google Cloud, Google Google Cloud correct? Cloud. So yes, yes. AWS is Amazon Cloud, correct? Right? So correct, yes. for each cloud itself, they have actually own services. Okay. Own correct. services correct. for actually DevOps. Yes. So this guy also own services. But what we are doing here, we are giving this tool. This actually, this is actually fit for Azure, fit for GCP, fit for AWS. And also in AWS, we are covering DevOps services. Okay. okay. So that means if you are going to, if you are going for interview, you can say as a cloud engineer also, as a DevOps engineer, or as a SRE. Okay. Nowadays, actually, SRE. market SRE, SRE actually is very popular. Okay. Site yes. reliability engineer. So yeah. you will get more package in uh, if you are going for SRE. Okay. okay. So these three things you are going to cover. So what we'll do, tomorrow again, we'll conduct another one hour. I'll explain you all the tool, how it is going to come together. Okay. Another two class, uh, demo class we will arrange tomorrow and Monday. Okay. Same time. Okay. 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 So that you will clear what are the things actually in AWS also services I'll explain. And I develops all things in responsibility I'll explain. Then actually we'll see. Okay. So tomorrow same time we'll connect. Uh, correct nine. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah. And I'll tell my people they can share this recording also to your mail ID. Okay. Sure. Sure. Thank you. That will be helpful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah. It, it was a good done, and I hope we'll get more details by tomorrow also. Okay. Yes. Thank yes. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.